In this video, we're going to go over several functions for editing and manipulating a coordinate file. But to begin with, let's take a look at the coordinate file utilities. This dialog box contains just about every command you will need to use to manipulate your coordinate file. While not covering every one of the commands, I will focus on some of the most essential commands that you'll need to know, including copy merge, coordinate transformation, updating points, aligning points, changing elevation points, comparing points, and the point history feature. To begin, let's review this project. This is a topography project that was done on assumed coordinates and elevations. I would like to now relocate this project onto a state plane grid system and use elevations that were brought in externally from a benchmark using a traditional level run. To start, I'm going to simply draw a line between the control points that are in common between this topographic survey and the control survey that was done separately. To do that, I'm going to use the draft menu and draw a 2D polyline. I will set the layer for the 2D polyline to be drawn on a layer called control. I know that the points that I located were GPS 40 and GPS 156. After drawing the line, the program displays the length of the line. The control survey was done on a Massachusetts grid system. The next thing I would like to do is to reset my coordinate system through the drawing setup command by selecting drawing setup from the settings menu followed by grid. My projection is state plane 83 and mass mainland is my zone. The control survey was done separately and processed in a different coordinate file. We will use our coordinate file utilities to merge that coordinate file into our current one. We are currently set to a coordinate file called points.crd. We will select copy merge, import points into current file, and select the control points. Here we have some options. In the control file, there are points 1 through 7. If you recall, our current file is using alphanumeric point names, GPS and EDM, preceding the point numbers. I have an option to add a prefix to these point numbers or a suffix. I'm going to leave them as points 1 through 7. When I hit OK, the Merge Points Manager dialog box appears, showing the points that are in the source coordinate file and the target coordinate file. In this case, there are no conflicts. Points 1 through 7 are not in conflict with any points that exist. If that were the case, a red insignia would appear and each conflict would have to be resolved before you are allowed to continue. By scrolling through the file, you can see all the points that exist in both files. When satisfied, I can hit OK. To examine the points I just brought into the coordinate file, I can simply hit it at points and take a look at the coordinates. By using a split screen, I can best demonstrate the next step, which is to align the assumed datum shown on the left screen to the mass grid coordinates shown on the right. By examining the data, I am able to show that GPS 40 of the assumed datum is equivalent to point number one of the control survey. Likewise, point GPS 156 is equivalent to point number two of the control survey. We return to the coordinate file utilities and execute the align points command. It's important to note the range of points. The program begins by assuming the entire point range within the coordinate file will be rotated. Knowing that points 1 through 7 are already on the correct datum, but we do not wish to rotate those. Once again, using point groups is highlighted. What I'm able to do with point groups is click on point group, holding the shift button, select both point groups that are to be rotated, EDM and GPS, click OK. In the range of points now is populated by group instead of range. My first source point 
is GPS 40, and the destination point that corresponds to that is point number 1. The second source point is GPS 156, which corresponds to point number 2. The program displays the delta x and y and rotation in degrees. I am ignoring elevations, as I will be raising the elevations with a different command. I am going to select the option to align screen entities. So any graphics I had drawn, line work, etc., will be rotated along with the points. So I hit OK. And then I window in all the entities and hit return. The program displays that it aligns all 343 points. You can see that the points are now in the split screen side that contains the mass grid system. As a quick review, we had enabled the option to link coordinate file with the drawing. That is found under the setup menu, Carlson configure, general settings, and link points with CRD file. Since that option is enabled, the coordinate file was updated through the routine of aligning the points. That can be confirmed by simply inversing, which is typing I at the keyboard or under Kogo, inverse, point number one to GPS 39. You'll see that the cursor has a rubber band snapping to the point as typed in. However, had that option not been enabled, or if you are concerned with ensuring that your coordinate file is up to date, back under the points menu in coordinate file utilities, there's an option to update the drawing from the CRD file or update the CRD file from the drawing. In this case, we had aligned the coordinates in the drawing and we want to ensure that the coordinate file is up to date, we would hit update CRD file from drawing. There is an option to filter points by description. A wildcard asterisk will mean that it takes all points and all descriptions. You can also update the point descriptions as an option. If I hit OK and either select or type the word all at the command prompt, I select all the entities in the drawing and hit enter. If there were duplicate point numbers or if there were point numbers that had been moved that were different than the coordinate file, you would be prompted at each point to update, override, or renumber those points. To modify the elevations for points, you can use the elevation for points command, which allows you the option to type in an absolute elevation for all points, or a differential, or a scale for perhaps changing feet to meters or similar. We will use differential. These points all need to be adjusted by a factor of 12. 0.32 feet in the positive direction. If we were to lower the points, we would simply put a negative number as opposed to a positive one. When I hit OK, the points are elevated. Another feature of coordinate file utilities is compare points. For this example, I have points that were located by field survey corresponding directly to deed points in a calculated position. Each corner, points 3 through 7, have a similar setup. To compare the positions of these points, I again use coordinate file utilities and a compare points command. I have options to compare points from within the drawing, the current coordinate file, or between two coordinate files. I am going to use the option of delta x and y for my differences. The horizontal tolerance I'm going to set to zero to make sure that all points are included. If there is a tolerant range in there and the points are within that tolerance, they will not be displayed in the next step. When I hit OK, the program asks me the base range of points, which are the surveyed points, 3 through 7, and the matching points numbered intentionally to be in the same range as 13 through 17 and then I hit OK, and the program displays the delta X and Y of each point location. This gives me a quick snapshot of my data on how it fits between plan and field.
Now this command can be used for a whole host of options. Consider as builds that require not only horizontal locations but vertical as well. Finally, all the activity that has been performed within this coordinate file is stored in the point history. By clicking on point history, you will see in sequence by time and date all the commands that have been used to affect the locations of points. Additionally, each point is displayed in the coordinate file and can be reported individually or altogether, displaying the modified coordinates. A less frequent but important command to use is coordinate transformation. This command is used to convert coordinates in one format to another, such as feet to metric or metric to feet. In this example, we are going to convert our points that are on mass grid coordinates in US feet to mass grid coordinates in meters. So we select a grid to grid transformation and we are going to use point numbers as a selection process. I would also like to create new point numbers and not override the existing ones. When I hit OK, we are going to select State Plane 83, the source zone, of course is the same zone that we started in, Mass Mainland. Our source coordinates are US feet. Our destinations is Mass Mainland in metric. I hit OK. For a range of points, I'm going to use all the points in the file. I'm going to not filter those by description, which is an option and a value to add the point numbers, I'm going to add a numerical value of 3000 to ensure that there's a space between my coordinates in the coordinate file. To take a look at those points, I'm now going to hit list points, use report formatter, and hit OK, ensuring that the range of points is all the points in the file. By looking at a spread view, I can see a spreadsheet view and see immediately that there is a point number one and a corresponding point number 3001 in meters. Likewise, EDM 10 has a corresponding point EDM 3010 also in meters.